Jack Leach and Moeen Ali spun England to whitewash glory over Sri Lanka on their final day of cricket in a memorable 2018. The pair, who both ended with 18 wickets for the series, shared five of the six wickets to fall on day four in Colombo as England won by 42 runs despite a brilliant last wicket stand of 58 for the home side. The other wicket to fall also came courtesy of Leach's arm as he claimed a stunning direct hit run out to remove dangerman Kuzel Mendes. Before that run out, Sri Lanka had enjoyed a 102-run partnership that started to test the nerves of the England fans watching on. But after sprinting in from deep square leg to get his throw spot on, Leach sparked the finale that England's cricket on this tour has deserved. Leach said, it's very special and I'm absolutely knackered. Sri Lanka pushed us all the way, but what a result. I would love to say I've been working on those long distance throws but I'd be lying. It was quite a big moment. I saw it going to the stumps and thought that is going to hit and luckily it did. After the break Joe threw me the ball and I had to get the body going again and I was just happy to get that wicket and get off the pitch. Under the astute stewardship of Joe Root, England became just the third team in history to whitewash Sri Lanka at home by playing a positive and aggressive brand of cricket that has shown other non-subcontinental teams how to win in the modern era. Root has pulled the strings with his players responding to his cajoling and encouragement to deliver a stunning set of three victories. Ben Stokes said, we're not the best at finishing when we've won the series but we can be proud of our efforts to come away with a 3-0 scoreline. We knew we had to get one wicket so we just had to get enough balls in the right area and it would come. Familiar faces have risen to the task such as Moeen, Stokes, and Joseph Butler, but it is the emergence of new faces Ben Folks and Leach that has helped the continued improvement over the year. It is easy to forget that England hadn't won a match overseas for two years following dismal tours of India, Australia, and New Zealand, but here they have been a revelation. And don't for one minute buy into the theory that Sri Lanka were there for the taking. If it was easy to come here and win, everyone would do it, but recently South Africa and Australia have both been sent packing with defeats.